Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We're playing on our level 8 right now. You can see I'm barely level 8. I'm 85 experience into level 8. Um, I haven't played on this in a while because I've been messing around with some other stuff on the main account. We're at 2122 right now. Been having a lot of fun with a giant witch deck. That's what we're going to be going over today, this giant witch deck that I've been using. The witch got a big buff, as you guys know, in the last update, and uh, <laughs> she's pretty strong. She is definitely pretty strong right now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump into two replays, and then we are going to um, get a couple live attacks in, okay? Here's the first one against whatever that stuff means. Um, level 8 versus level 8. Obviously, I'm a fairly new level 8, but that shouldn't really, that doesn't really make too much of a difference right here. So we're just going to go ahead and get our Spear Gobs down to get some uh, free damage over there. Uh, and just to be able to cycle through and get some stuff rolling for us. So we've got down our Witch already. Um, and we've got these Skeletons over here to distract. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have used those Skeletons. I didn't really need them. Because uh, then I could have dropped off the Giant in front of this. But we're going to go ahead and drop off the Hog. And that Wizard's going to get a little bit distracted. We're going to zap all of that. One of those goblins stayed alive somehow through all that. But look at this. This tower is already down pretty far. Here comes in the mini P.E.K.K.A. doing a little bit of work. But we're going to get that tower down to 398 right off the bat. Um, and we are going to drop off our little spear gobs over here. And then we're just going to let them do their thing. Um, now, he doesn't even know that we have a giant yet, guys. He doesn't even know that we have a giant yet. Um, so he's using a P.E.K.K.A. Wizard... Barbarian uh, Minion Horde deck, whatever. That's a very expensive deck. There are a lot of five elixir cards in that deck. Um, and I'm not even... I, honestly, the P.E.K.K.A. doesn't scare me anymore. Look at this. We're sending a Witch against a P.E.K.K.A. We'll drop off our cannon over here. Um, spawn, a little more, spawn some more skeletons. Going to drop off up here once the wizard targets on the cannon. Uh, and then the P.E.K.K.A. is going to get over there. The P.E.K.K.A. is not even going to touch the cannon. And we're just distracting this left side over here. Um, with that giant just sending him off to go ahead and kind of do his own thing and now the witch is coming in and she's gonna go ahead and I think that she takes out the tower she was about to take out the tower she was about to take out the tower now this was a little bit worrisome for me but watch this we're gonna go ahead and drop off our cannon and some one elixir skeletons and uh, nothing goes wrong there so our tower is at 2352 we zap he's gonna get in here with a couple minions and they are going to get off one shot it goes from 2352 to 2275 I'm going to go ahead and say good game. There's a minute left, but hey, <laughs> we're uh, we're good. We're good to go at this point. So what am I doing again? Still putting pressure on that left side, and he's still going after the right side. I'm not too sure why. So we're going to play this the exact same. Look at this. Now he's got a mini P.E.K.K.A. coming in too. Cannon goes down. Um, uh, skeleton's over on the right. I think we're going to use our Zap right there. We've got our Spear Gobs as well. Um, big P.E.K.K.A. is done. Mini P.E.K.K.A. is done, guys. Here comes all of the Barbarians. We're going to drop off another Witch and watch this. Both of their damage combined is going to do work. Then he's going to drop off a P.E.K.K.A. against this. That wasn't the best thing to do. He was kind of frantic, freaking out. Skeletons against P.E.K.K.A.s is absolute just domination. Um, <laughs> I was a little trolly there saying good luck. Um, and we are actually going to get down three Witches, guys, right here at the very end. You're going to see it right there. And, oh. We wanted it. Give me like 15 more seconds and we would have had that tower down. So much fun playing this deck so far. This is the most recent battle that I had. It's against a Royal Giant. I think it took him a while to show me the Royal Giant. Um, but uh, yeah, one thing I've been facing lately is the Bomb Tower. And as you guys know, uh, that thing's got a lot of health. That thing has got a lot of health. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just split up our archers back here. In the back, and um, go ahead and drop off a couple spear goblins as well. Um, and then I think we've we're at, I think we drop off one of extra skeletons over here. This one was actually a little bit challenging, but we ended up taking this guy out. So he's gonna go ahead and use a zap right there, and he doesn't know that we have a hog. Okay, so he doesn't know that we have a hog yet. Our witch is being dumb, taking free shots right there. We'll go ahead and drop off our archers back here. But now that that um, now that that bomb tower is out of the rotation, what does that mean for us? That means we've got our Hog Rider, guys. And what is he going to do besides work? So we're going to go ahead and drop him off um, right here. I think he drops off the Goblins right at the bridge. No, so he's going to drop off. Yeah, he does drop off the Goblins right there at the bridge. And watch this. We're going to... Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. That zap took so long. I was sitting outside playing, and I think that there was a lag spike or something. 
But that that zap was literally over them for probably two seconds before it went off. Like one, two. That's why the hog died. He only would have gotten off one more shot, so uh, it's not that big of a deal. But it was pretty frustrating. So he's going to go ahead and drop off this big boy right here. What are we going to do? We've got our cannon. We're going to drop that off. And we're going to get this little guy surrounded by uh, some skeletons and start doing some work. We're going to zap, which is going to take a couple of them out. And then she's going to work her way over. Mini Pekka is obviously going to come out once those go down. Oh, no, that was a god. Okay, so he dropped off goblins. But look at that. Our witch did some pretty good damage to them, actually. Um, so... Now what do we know he's going to do? He is going to be dry. Look, he's, he's ready for it. He's ready with this bomb tower to put it down. So now we want our giant to get down there, okay? So we're going to try and take out the tower uh, with our hog rider. We're going to get it down fairly far, not too far. Um, go ahead, drop off a good amount of stuff over here. And we're going to zap all of this, get rid of those, um, get rid of those fire spirits. And now we're going to work our way forward a little bit. Here comes the giant. Um, he All he has to do is cycle back through, though, to get down another defense. But watch this. This is where it starts to get crazy. So now he's got down another defense. We've got two defensive units focused on it. Um, we're going to go ahead and head out towards this. We've got our witch in there. We've got our archers in there. We've got a good little um, push right here. And he had to defend it with a royal giant trying to distract us. So he's not doing so hot right now. He's going to drop off a mini P.E.K.K.A. to counter. And we're going to go ahead and zap, and now all of that is going to get distracted by the stuff on the other side, and that's when we take it out. Um, it was a misplay by him using that Royal Giant when he did, using the Mini P.E.K.K.A. instead of the Bomb Tower. Because if he dropped on that Bomb Tower, would have killed all my other troops. We ended up taking him out. That's what I'm talking about. But we're 4-0 with this deck. Um, I've used it a couple times today. Um, and then once last night. So let's go ahead and battle here and see how we can do um, against some people. So that last guy was actually a level 9. Or I think he was a level 9. I don't remember at this point, but I remember facing a level 9 today. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just start off fairly slow here, kind of see kind of see what's going to be going on. So we've got a bomber to deal with, which isn't that good uh, for us after having the... Uh, after having the giant in our deck. So it looks like he's actually probably going to be playing a giant in front of this. Yes, he is. I called that very handily. Come over here, buddy. Um, so we'll go ahead. No, Archer, come back. Archer, come back. Archer. Oh, my gosh. We may just be in a little bit of trouble here. Uh, but if we can turn this witch into a push. Come on. Come on. Give me my giant. Give me my giant. Give me my giant. Give me my giant. There we go. Please stay behind him, witch. Please stay behind him, witch. Witch, you stay behind him. Yes. All right. So all he has to do is drop off a bomber. And we're going to be in trouble. Why did they have to target the witch? Uh, I think it was pretty clear that she was not in the front. Um, all right, so here we go. Our witch should do a good job over here taking out all these guys. Uh, that musketeer was just freaking dominant over there. Um, we'll go ahead and drop off some archers. And our witch is just going to take... Did his, his bomber just one-shot my archers? Alright, so this is uh, definitely going to be a loss for us. <laughs> I don't, what, like, what level? What in the world, man? That's ridiculous. Alright, so we'll go ahead and zap them and take them out very, very quickly. And we're going to go ahead and surround and get rid of that uh, wizard as well. So now he's doing really good. I'm a little bit worried about this. But let's go ahead. We're going to try and we're gonna try and mess him up, okay? So we're going to go giant on the left side. And then we're going to try and push right side with our hog rider. Um, he's going to have to try and build up something. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and build that up. Let's go ahead and push over here like I was saying. And uh, see if we can make anything happen. Uh, what's he going to do? Nice. So he's going to drop off some barbarians. We're going to get off a little bit of damage over there on that tower, which was actually really, really good. He's going to send a little bit of a cry emote over there. Let's go ahead and drop off these archers in the middle. And uh, if this witch can just get a, enough, oh, we need to get out. We need to get back through to our uh, zap spell real quick. Uh, actually, no, we should be fine without getting. Come on, come on, come on! What are you targeting? What are you targeting? Oh my gosh! Why is one of them on the tower? Come on, that's dumb. We're gonna drop off our giant back here. Oh, the wizard! The wizard just barely targeted the tower. That's game over. We're not gonna be able to do anything here. We got to try and get over here to this tower. He's gonna go ahead and drop off an elixir pump. And that uh, means pretty much uh, death for us. Why are you crying? I didn't taunt you at all the entire game. Good game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just give him this one. Like, that. that's obnoxious to me. 
the crying face is obnoxious. You can give um, a thumbs up if you want to, but crying face, like, I'm not crying. <laughs> um, I want to see what level his cards were because that wizard did work, man. It was a level six. Um, wow, look at all the legendaries that he has. Or not legendaries, all of the... Um, all the rares that he has. So that makes me wonder whether or not I should throw a bomber into this deck, but I don't have an elixir pump. That's the only thing. Uh, so what do we want to do here? It is only 3.1. So let's actually go ahead and drop the bomber in there like that and see if that helps us a little bit, especially against barbarians. You guys know how strong the bomber is. Um, it's really strong. Give this guy a quick thumbs up. I feel like everybody down here is using giant decks. Uh, honestly, let me know what you guys have been noticing. I haven't seen too many hog cycle decks at all. When, oh, as right as I say that, this guy is uh, about to build up the hog cycle deck. So go ahead, buddy. Um, do your thing over there. Here comes his hog. Nope, here comes his fire spirits. Watch this. And zap. <laughs> and there's the hog. I told you guys. I freaking told you guys there was a hog coming, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, hopefully that witch and whatnot can do some damage over there. Oh, nice. He totally misses that. And we get no damage done because of those guards. I didn't realize guards were that strong. But our Spear Goblins are going to go ahead and head over there and do some good work for us. Now, we know that he has a cannon. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get him to put his cannon down uh, against our giant. And then we're going to push with our hog up in there um, as well. So here, come, get ready for his cannon. His cannon is definitely going to come down. And Oh, wow, no. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, and now the cannons, oh wow, not even in a cannon, an inferno tower. And zap that, see if we can get rid of that, and... Is the, is the inferno tower seriously still not resetting? After the update? Because my hog rider went from having 50% health to immediately having nothing after that zap spell. Or, uh, yeah, after that zap, wow. Okay, so that still needs to be fixed. Um, that's very, very bad. Like, that right there is a game changer because that hog would have 100% gotten over to that tower and gotten at least two shots off because that dragon's not doing that much damage. Um, so that's extremely frustrating, and honestly, that's something that really needs to be fixed because, like, that is, that is a game changer for sure. Um, we'll go ahead and I'm not going to even mess with it right here. Can he get off one shot at least? Good lands, dude. Freaking Inferno Towers are OG right now. They are so strong. See if we can get this bomber to do anything for us. And uh, now he's got that out of the way. We can get our giant up in here. And let's see if we can get this going. We're going to have to uh, go ahead and... Uh, okay, so no zap right there. Let's go ahead and get... How is it not down yet? Holy cow, man. All right, there we go, there we go. Oh, there's another Inferno Tower. Our hog's on the tower, though. Our witch is doing work. There we go. Let's see what we can make happen over here. We're getting things done. We're getting things done. Big little force right here. However, that uh, Valkyrie's going to do some serious... Kill her! How is she not dead yet? Goodness, man. What in the world? Freaking kill her. All right. Um... So we got our bomber down. Here goes his Inferno Tower once again. Let's see if we can at least do something to this dragon up here. Uh, we should be able to pork push. Let's see. I'm not certain. Uh, nope, because I failed at it. So let's go ahead and... Uh, okay. All right. So we're not going to do anything there. I actually lied. Uh, I'm pretty sure that he has a fireball, right? So this is very, very close right now. Um, yep, there's that fireball. Nice. That is exactly what I needed to do for him. You're very welcome for me literally just handing you the win, buddy. Um, go ahead, get this down, get this down, and zap all of that, get that broken up, and let's go and get our hog up in here with that little push, come on, please mess up on your inferno, no, <laughs> the Valkyrie needs a nerf, everything needs a nerf, come on, hit it, look at this madness, get her out of here, man, Valkyrie's so strong, come over here, hog, I'm done with you, I'm freaking done with you, hog rider, and he's going to fireball again. Um, practically fireballs for the win on this side of things, guys. But over time, whew, wow. Wow. Um, so if, I'm just, I'm just saying, I know that it didn't happen. But if that Inferno Tower had reset when we zapped it, then uh, we probably could have taken that victory because the hog would have done some extra damage to it. So let's go ahead and get in one more. I want to get a live win for you guys. 
Um, whatever. Okay. Uh, we're gonna start off real quick right here with just a quick little, uh, quick little hog, little, 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 little bit of hog action. He just completely ignored it for a little bit. <laughs> Did you see how far away they pushed him? Come on. And Witch coming in hot. She's going to do some serious damage over here. Um, I really want to save for the giant, so I'm going to let I'm gonna let them do their damage to the tower. Do not touch my Witch. Don't you touch my Witch. All right, good. And he just dropped that off. So now we're going to go ahead and get a little bit of a push going here. Let's see what defense he has, if he even has a defense. Doesn't look like he has a defense, guys. Oh, my goodness. He is in so much trouble. We're going to go ahead and zap and reset that. Um, reset that sparky over there and now it's just surrounded by skeletons oh my goodness let's get a hog up in here we are going after this real quick this might be an extremely fast three crown guys with this hog getting in here and that was ridiculous and the best ending to this video that we could have possibly had plus 29 cups how many cups did we lose earlier we lost 29 so we're even <laughs> to where we were when we started the video hope that you guys enjoyed that was a little bit stressful but we made it out um and yeah thank you so much for watching love you guys very very much i will see y'all in the next episode as always make sure you keep calm and you clash on it right peace